שלום, נברה. שלום, שלום, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen, are you ready? <coughs> For another session in God's Word. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. Okay, let's give some time for people to come up. Amen. And to be able to join this broadcast. Amen. Praise God. I'm very excited. Uh, this afternoon we had our first, uh, um, uh, what do you call, our first um, um, Instagram um, broadcast uh, with a translator from Indonesia. And I, I think it worked. It worked very well. Amen. Praise God for that. Welcome, Tia Isha. Welcome to my wife, Oni, uh, from in, <coughs> in Jakarta. Excuse me. Hey. Welcome, Dawn Potter, uh, from Antioch House of Prayer. Praise God. Let's give some time for more people uh, to come up. I don't want to uh, waste too much too much time, amen. God is good. We, we have had some incredible feedback on our uh, live broadcast on Facebook, really. And the Lord has been gracious uh, to us and uh, merciful. And uh, I, I, I just cannot thank God enough. I mean, people from that I don't even know uh, has been uh, giving us some strong feedback on what these uh, uh, Facebook live meetings has met to them and some has been changed and you know people has been healed I mean that's incredible welcome Sarah from house from Antioch house of prayers Cyprus Jaya praise God uh, just wait a little while longer and then we're gonna get into uh, God's word uh, and uh, I believe God is going to uh, really do something today again amen come on are you with me today Thank you. I just, I just thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your presence here. Dear Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I just come to your throne of grace and I thank you, Lord, once again for this uh, opportunity to be able and this honor, God, this honor to be able to preach your word, to be able, Lord God, to, 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 to just sit around God's word uh, and read and, and just to share the revelation that the Lord has given. Amen. Praise God. So, Father, I thank you that you're just going to come and you just, I just give myself to you. I submit myself under the leading of the Holy Spirit. I just give myself to you. Lord God, do whatever is in your heart. Even uh, the uh, things I've prepared, if you want something else, you got your will be done, my God. In Jesus' name. Welcome, Anton Lotz. Praise God. Welcome, Patrick Lau, my spiritual son from uh, Philippines. Amen. Um, shalom, Anton. Uh, welcome, Peter Gordon. Welcome, Frandeo Krokamp. Um, welcome. A lot of people are coming up right now. Um, my uh, very good friend, Pastor Jimmy Abbott from uh, South Africa. Welcome, Pastor Jimmy. Uh, ex heavyweight South African champion, boxing champion. Amen. Uh, uh, his name is Jimmy Abbott. You can also go and watch. He's, uh, he's also got uh, on his Facebook page uh, live broadcast from time to time. You just go on his f Facebook page and you just see their advertising and, and uh, support him as well. Amen. We are, we are children and men and women of God that is taking this time of lockdown uh, uh, and uh, and uh, we, we, uh, we, we are not going to allow this to lock us down. It doesn't matter what is wrong with you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. But we're, gonna, we're just going to go up. And uh, in this time that God has given us as a, as a lockdown, uh, but our spirit, our spirit is not locked down. Amen. <coughs> no, we are not locked down. And uh, we're just going to go on. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, welcome, Shanae Horn from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, South Africa there. Welcome, Susan van Vieren. And I believe uh, 
Fanny van Vieren is also up. Welcome, welcome, baie welkom, Susan van Vieren en Fanny. Prijs die Heere man, ek dink ons gaan een goeie tijd en een lieflijke tijd in die teenwoordigheid van Heere vandag. Yeah. Amen. So praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You, you guys don't mind if I mix a little bit of my Afrikaans, because a whole lot of South African people, Afrikaans speaking people also is uh, on this uh, broadcast. Amen. So uh, yeah, we, we just going to have a wonderful time in the Lord right now. Now, praise God. Father, Father God, we just give honor to you. Amen. God is a good God, merciful and glorious in all his way. Right? If you have your Bibles, you can, John or Hussler, they're from, uh, from Germany, I think it is, or from, I can't remember now. Welcome, my dear brother in God. Uh, welcome, welcome. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bible, just turn to the book of Hebrew, chapter number 11. Let's go to the book of Hebrew, chapter number 11. Amen. Ah, Hebrew chapter number 11. Welcome, my dear friend, uh, um, uh, T.F. Lim, all the way from Singapore. Welcome, welcome, Cecilia, uh, my, uh, uh, my mommy there from uh, Malaysia as well. Praise the Lord. Welcome, uh, Reni Pongolo. And uh, yeah, praise the Lord. Okay, we are, we are all a lot of people are is now up, so I think we can just start this uh, broadcast, just start this, um, this uh, uh, meeting. So if you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Hebrew, chapter number 11, chapter number 11, verse number 32 to verse number 38, verse number 32 to verse number 38. Hallelujah! Glory be to the Lord. And I want to read this passage uh, from, the, from the Message Bible. Amen. I want to read this passage from the Message Bible. Hallelujah. Are you guys with me? Come on. Are you guys with me? Are, are, you, are you ready? Are you ready for some, for some Holy Spirit fire uh, meeting uh, in this next half an hour? 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. It depends on the Holy Spirit how long we're going to be. Amen. But are you guys ready? Come on. Say, I am ready. Come Holy Spirit. <coughs> Come Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In Jesus Christ's name, Hebrew 11, verse 32 to 38. And I'm reading here from the um, uh, Message Bible. From the Message Bible. Welcome, Elin there. Um, well on, welcome, welcome. Okay, it says, I could go on and on, but I've run out of time. There are many more. Uh, Gideon, Barak, Samson, David, Samuel, the prophets. Uh, through acts of faith, they topped the kingdom, made justice work, took the promise for themselves. They were protected from lions, fires and, and sword thrusting, turned disadvantage to advantage, won battles, rode at alien armies. Women received their loved uh, ones back from the dead. There were, uh, there were those who under torture refused to give in and go free. Um, preferring something better, resurrection, others, others braved abuse and whips, and yes, chains and dungeons. We have stories of those who were stoned, sought into murdered in gold black, stories of uh, veterans wandering the earth in animal skins, uh, homeless, friendless, uh, powerless. Uh, the, the world didn't deserve them, making their way as best they could in the cruel edge of this world. Amen. Praise God, praise God. Uh, all right, welcome Gladys from Australia. Welcome Shirley, also there from uh, Indonesia, I believe. Right, now now let's look at this. Uh, um, in Hebrew chapter number 11, if you read the chapter, it talks about uh, the heroes of, of God. Amen. It talks about men and women that say yes to the Lord. It talks about men and women that would not back off. They, they don't care. They didn't care about their life. They didn't care about their lifestyle. They didn't care about what people think or say about them. All they care about is to do this one thing, the commandment of the Lord, and to go forward and to break down the camp of the enemy and to go and to bring down the kingdom of heaven and to establish God's kingdom upon planet earth. Amen. Now, one of those means that we just can look at that today, and there were many of them, is Gideon. Well, I just love Gideon. I just love the story of Gideon. Gideon uh, was a farmer boy who became a national hero. I mean, Gideon was a farmer boy that became a national hero. I mean, uh, against all odds, uh, I mean, he, he saved his nation. I mean, 
Praise God, more people are coming up, right? Uh, uh, at that moment in time uh, of Gideon, Israel was at the lowest point in, in, in their history. They were, Israel was just lowest point uh, uh, to, uh, of, of, the, of the nation. I mean, they, they, were, they, were, they, were just in it, they were just out and about. An enemy named the Midianites uh, had come in like a, a swarm of locusts. They were about 135,000 strong and forced all the people of Israel uh, to move into the caves. Amen. They were living in caves. They were very afraid of these uh, enemy. At that moment in time, Israel once again didn't listen to God. They were serving foreign gods. And, um, and the Lord just allowed this enemy to come in and bring destruction upon these, uh, these people, upon the Israelites. Amen. So we found Gideon initially down in the bottom of a wine press, thrashing grain. How can, I mean, uh, you, you go, when you're thrashing wine grapes, you've got to go down in a cave. I mean, but when you're thrashing um, a grain, you, got, you do it in the open because you throw it up and, you know, the wind will, 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 will come and help and all that kind of thing and uh, uh, separate it, uh, the hard point, uh, the hard grain from the soft ones and, and so forth. Amen. So if we find this, uh, Gideon was busy doing, he was in hiding. Uh, uh, if, he was, if he was seen, they would, they would kill him. When things, listen to me, when things get bad, God looks for a person to use. Coronavirus has hit planet Earth. <laughs> God is looking for people right now. God is looking for warriors right now. God is looking for people that can stand up against this virus in the spiritual dimension, break down this which the enemy is busy establishing through this virus and establishing God's kingdom. I'm telling you right now. Are you one of them? Are you one of them? Welcome, Christine De Brain. And welcome, my dear brother, uh, 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 Franz, uh, there from Milan. Are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you Are you? ready for the Lord to come and say, I want to use you during this time? But, you know, I've seen many times we are, we are complaining. Oh, I wonder when this lockdown is going to end. Oh, another 14 days. Oh, another two weeks. Oh, another this, another this. Oh, I cannot, cannot take it anymore. I, I got I to gotta, I gotta get out. I, I, I cannot take it anymore. We, we start to complain. And when you are complaining, let me tell you, the Lord is going to bypass you. Amen. You're going to say, God, I'm in this situation right now. And I, I want to do something, God. Here I am. I might not have education. I might not, might not have a degree. I might not uh, be very strong operating in the gift of the Holy Spirit. I might not be all these things that many of these famous men and women around the, uh, the earth is. But God, my heart, I am available. That's what God wants. Availability. <laughs> God wants availability. Welcome, my friend, Johan Waldeck. Hallelujah. Amen. God often used the most unlikely person, especially in times like this, especially in crisis time like this. Planet Earth is in a crisis and God is looking for somebody. God is looking for somebody. The Gideon is how God turns a nobody into a somebody. And only God can do that. A nobody into a somebody. Say after me, from nothing to something. That's what God's looking for. A nobody into a somebody. Welcome, Adrian Kutsia. Hallelujah. More, more people. I, 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 there's a whole lot of people today. Wow. The, uh, the, uh, it's really a lot today. I mean, now. Uh, God, uh, God will turn cowards into champions, zeros into he heroes. Amen. And and that is what God is looking for today. I, I I'm telling you right, one one day. I, I, I'm telling you one thing right now. I I do not care what is the level of your education. I don't care how many years you have studied to become a pastor. I don't I don't care about those things, honestly. 
Yeah, God has led you to it and you have gone through it and praise God for that. But in this moment in time, all I am, all I'm, all, all I'm seeing is God is looking for people that is available. Availability over ability. That's what God is looking for right now. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of Gideons is going to stand up in this time. A lot of Gideons is going to stand up in this time. Are you with me today? Are you a Gideon today? Are you afraid? Come on, be honest. Are you afraid? Yes, yes, we are afraid. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We are locked in in our homes. And, and, uh, and, and I'm afraid of my, for my children. I'm afraid for my grandchildren. I'm afraid for my parents. I'm, I'm afraid for, for, for my family. Some family members is nurses and they are doctors. I'm afraid. Some family members are policemen. They have to go out. I'm afraid. I am. I'm telling you right now. We, are, we have this uncertainty in our heart. But I'm telling you right now, you might be in a cave, in a spiritual cave right now. Oh, oh, but God is still looking at you. And God wants that availability that is in your heart. That's what the Lord wants. An angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon. And Gideon was afraid of his own shadow. Afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> and the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon. And this is what the angel of the Lord is saying to Gideon. Now remember Gideon is in a cave. In a cave. He's afraid. He's very afraid. For the Midianites. And this angel appeared to him. And the angel said. The Lord. Is with you. Mighty warrior. Now at that moment in time. My goodness gracious me. That is the last thing that little this Gideon was. He was definitely. Not a mighty warrior. Let me tell you today. No. He was a coward. He was afraid. He is what we call a, 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 a sissy. You know what men are calling. He's cutless. He, he's, he's, a, he's a pathetic person. Just hiding there. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him. Mighty warrior. The Lord is with you. And today God is saying the same thing to us in this crisis situation. Mighty warriors. The Lord is with you. And the Lord will never forsake and never leave you. For he will always be with you. How did God change Gideon's heart? Gideon obviously was not really at that moment in time, in a mood to accept this wonderful words of the angel. You see, God sees you and what you are going to become. God doesn't see you how you are at this moment in time. No, God sees you what you are going to become. And you will be very surprised. If your heart is available to God, you will be very surprised at how God can use you. Are you with me today? Listen to me. At this moment in time, you do not want, uh, you don't need an angel to appear before you. No. All that you need right now is to realize the word of God and what God says is the truth. And God says you are a champion. And God says you are more than a conqueror. 
And God says, you are the head and not the tail. And God says, you are my son. And God says, you are my daughter. And God says, I am your father. And God says, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. That's what God is saying to you right now. And the Lord is saying to you. Hello? What is your response? Oh, you might say, uh, Lord, 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 you know, I, I am, I am, a, I am, I'm a, I'm a taxi driver. Uh, Lord, Lord, no, no, Lord, Lord, I'm a, I'm a cleaner. Uh, uh, Lord, no, 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 I, I'm just a secretary. Lord, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm just a normal policeman. Lord, no, 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 I, I'm, 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 I'm just a, a, a manager of the bank. Lord, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm just a businessman. Lord, no, 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 Lord, no. Oh, pass by God. Woo! Pass by, pass by, that way, that way, God, thank you. Go this way, God, pass by. <laughs> no. When God said to you, mighty warrior, you stand up to the master and you say, yes, sir, here I am. What do you need me to do? And maybe God will wake you up at two o'clock in the morning. Maybe God will wake you up at three o'clock in the morning and say, son, daughter, it's now time to intercede. It's now time because I'm going to show you certain things. I'm going to reveal the secrets of the enemy to you. It's now time. Get yourself ready. And you get up out of bed. You wash your face quickly and you say, yes, yes, God. Yes, I'm, I'm still a little bit sleepy, but I, but I don't care about my sleep. I don't care about my sleep. I don't care about my comfort anymore. I care about what God wants. And only what he wants. That's all I care about. Are you with me today? Listen to me. Don't just sit. In your little house. In your little room. Don't just sit. And hoping that things will change. D don't. This message is so relevant. Relevant, I mean, so relevant for us today. Because Gideon was in a bad situation. You and I are in a bad situation. Gideon was in a crisis situation. You and I are in a crisis situation. Gideon was locked up, by the way. Okay, this was his own thing. They were all running to the caves and they were all hiding from the Midianites. You and I are in lock up as well. We, we cannot go out uh, as we please. The police will stop us and say, get back. We are in a lockdown as well. Amen. Come on, say amen. Now look at this, look at this. In Judges 6 verse 11 to 16. Judges 6 verse 11 to 16. Judges 6 verse 11 to 16 say, One day the angel of God came and sat down under the oak in Oprah that belonged to uh, Joas, the Iberizite, whose son Gideon was stressing wheat in the winepress out of sight of the Midianites. The angel of God appeared to him and say, God is with you, almighty warrior. Gideon reply, with me, my master. If God is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all the miracles, the wonders? Our parents, our grandparents told us about, about telling us and all these things. Didn't God deliver us from Egypt? The fact is, God has got nothing to do with us. He has turned us over to the Midianites. But God faced him directly. Go in the strength that is yours. Save Israel from Midian, from the Midian. Haven't I uh, just sent you? Gideon said to him, Me, Master, how and with what could I ever save Israel? Look at me. My clan is the weakest in Manasseh. And I am a runt of the litter. God said to him, I will be with you. Believe me, you will defeat the Midianites as one man. 
Now, isn't this still what the question that we're asking right now? Isn't this still the same? Get on the saying, excuse me, if God is alive and God is with us, excuse me for a minute. Why is the coronavirus on planet Earth? Where is God when these, uh, all these people are dying? Where, where, what, what's happening if God is in control? But the Lord never said to Gideon, hey, shut up. Yo, he just said to him, Gideon, you are a mighty warrior and I will use you. Gideon had many questions like we have, many questions right now. But the Lord will affirm to you your calling. God will always start in your life with a word of encouragement. This Bible is full of encouragement words. Amen. God will always start and you read there and you see, wow, wow. This God that is doing that, that used Gideon so powerful is the same God that is with us today. This God that used Paul in an incredible way is the same God that is with us today. Wow, this God that is uh, used Joshua uh, uh, in such incredible way, used Moses to open the Red Sea and they used, used Samson to, 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 to kill all those Philistines. This, this is the same God. The same God. The same God of Gideon is your God too. God the Father God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. The same. There's no difference. I'm telling you, there's no difference. The same God that used Gideon mightily, that same God is standing in front of your life right now, knocking upon your heart and saying, come on, mighty warrior, come on. Come on, I'm with you. Come on, I'll never leave. Listen to me. There's one thing. Listen to me, careful. There is one thing that you and I can do that God cannot do. Even God try. God cannot do. There's one thing that human beings can do that God cannot do. Do you know what it is? It's lying. God cannot lie. So if God says, I will never leave nor forsake you, he means it. Say amen. He means it. God is gracious. This is a simple message, but you know, uh, uh, these simple messages, we don't want to take too hard. We are looking for all these explanations and all these uh, things that, and why this is going to happen and how long this is still going to take and will, will, will by June, will this thing... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we are saying by June, will this thing lift up? Will this lift? Can I, can I, because my, 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 my business is going down and, 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 and uh, I, I don't know if, if this thing lifts, lift up this lockdown, if my business can still, uh, 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 you know, can, can I still have a job there? Can I still get payment? Oh, we are in caves. <laughs> but God is saying, God is saying, mighty warrior, I'm going to make you from a zero to a hero. I am going to change your life. I'm going to change your life. Do you want that? Let's all say, yes, Lord. We are here. We want that, God. Gideon reacted by responding according to what he saw himself and the circumstances. That's why Gideon 
uh, responded. No, 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 no. You see, Gideon was in a situation. You and I are in a situation. Are we not? But what is your response in this situation? I want to know right now. What is your response? Gideon say, excuse me, sir, but if the Lord is with us, why has all these things happened to us? Judges 6.13. Where are the miracles, God? Where are the miracles that our ancestors was talking about? Where is that God? Oh, our ancestors were saying, the Lord took us out of Egypt. Oh, how many times my mom and your mom and everybody has said, Oh, God has done such great things in our life. How many of our people has been healed from cancer and all kinds of sickness? Even blind eyes are opening up and all that. How many times we've heard this, all this good report, the report. And now all of a sudden, when this planet is in a crisis, what is happening right now? We are like Gideon. In the, in, the, in the cave. Excuse me. If you are with, why this happened? Why, why? Where, where is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? Where is the God of the miracles? Why, 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 why? Listen to me. These are the words of the vocabulary of an insecure person. Excuse me. My mouth is so dry. Hold just a minute. The words are if, why, where, but. If, why, where, but. God says, you are a mighty man and woman of value. God starts to call you with a affirmation. You are a mighty man. Now today I'm saying to you, as a servant of the Most High God, I'm saying to myself and I'm saying to you, mighty men and women of value, stand up. God is with you. Romans 8.31, oh the famous scripture, if God is for us, who can be against us? But you have got to realize that God is for you. You see, we love to quote the scripture, but we don't realize my God is my God is with us. You have got to realize that. Listen to this. Judges 6 verse 17 to 18 in the NIV, the old NIV, it says, Gideon reply, If now I have found favor in your eyes, Give me a sign that is really you talking to me. Ooh. Please do not go away until I am. I come back and bring my offering and set it before you. And the Lord says, I will wait until your return. Gideon now is having a personal experience with God. The fact of the matter is when God wants to change you and me, first he encourages you and me, and secondly, he meets us. First he say, you are mighty men of value, a great warrior. And then what happens? He meets you. If you open your heart to the living God, you now know what God says about you. The Bible cannot lie. You now know. So now you've got to open your heart. You've got to open your heart to God. And you've got to now say, God, come. And you've got to go on your knees. And you've got to walk with God. And you've got to study the word of God every day. And you've got to pray. And the Lord will use you in a spiritual dimension that you have no idea. God wants to meet with you and I. You want this personal experience with God? God wants to meet you. He's encouraging us now for 2,000 years through the word of God. It's time that God meets us now. It's time that we have a personal experience 
with the living God. Are you with me today? It is time. My mouth is dry. I love all of you really. God loves you even much more than anyone else can love you. You are precious to him. But my God is yesterday, today, forever the same. Now listen to me. You must now come to a place that you've got to have peace in your heart. There is too much uh, negativeness that has came into our hearts. It's now time that we have peace. Before you are ready to fight your battles that God placed upon your heart and want you to do, you must have internal peace with the living God. Now look at this. In Judges 6 verse 25 to 32, Judges 6 verse 25 to 32, from the NIV there, Judges 6 verse the same night the Lord said to him, take the second bull from your father's hurt, the one seven years old, tear down your father's altar to Baal and cut down the Asherah, uh, Paul beside it. Uh, then build a proper uh, kind of altar uh, to the Lord uh, your God on the top of the height using the wood of the Asherah pole that you cut down. Offer the second bull as a burning offer. Okay, so now the scripture goes on like this. And, and uh, 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 Gideon has done this. Amen. Now, sometimes following God means standing alone if necessary. You know, many times when, there, when, when you are in a situation where you are right now and perhaps you have lost uh, a lot of hope and all. And perhaps you don't know what's, what, what is going to happen. And many times we, we, we are building ourselves our own idols. There's nothing wrong in watching television. But if you watch movie after movie after movie and you spend six hours or seven hours per day watching movie, you are building yourself an idol. You are making that television or your, or your laptop or your phone, you are making an idol. I'm sorry, but this is what God put in my heart and I will obey God. I might, might not, not be very favorable after this, but I'm telling you right now. Maybe one movie is okay. I mean, you know, but come on, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. I see people on Facebook, Christians. Oh, well, today I've, I've just watched three movies. Three movies, usually it's two hours per movie. That's six hours that you've spent in front of the television. What are you doing? You are making that thing your idol. You are spending more time in front of that television than in the, in the word of God or in the presence of God or in prayer. And you are wondering why this is happening like this. Come on, I'm telling you now. Change. Change. Listen, let, let me be honest with you. I, I love action movies, okay? That's it. I mean, I, I just love these action cops movie. I was a cop for 17 years, so I love that kind of thing, investigating movies and, you know, about, about policemen and so forth and so forth. And I sometimes watch quite a bit of it as well. But I'm telling you right now, I have put that side, I've put that aside. I've put it aside a bit, amen? And I've now spending my time with the Lord, especially in the early hours, because that's who I am. I like to wake up at four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And then when it's still dark and I open the curtains and, and I look at all the, all the, my curtains is open anyhow. But I, but I, you know, where I look, I look at all the lights outside. It's so refreshing. And I, I go make myself a cup of tea and I, you know, and I, I, I just sit down and, and, and I just read God's word. And I mean, I, I can just sense the, the, the spirit of the Lord and the presence of the Lord upon me. And it's God, God is enjoying the company and I'm enjoying God's company and all that. And then, and then as I read the word of God and make my notes, all of a sudden I, I, I felt the fire is coming and I'm on my, on, on my legs and then I start to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the Holy Spirit fire is there. Oh, I'm telling you the enemy is running. <laughs> the enemy is running. People are saying to me, Pastor, you scream too much. Okay. <laughs> so I like screaming. <sighs> I 
as a prophet of God, I know God is about to do something so special. And God is not revealing this. I, I'm very careful. I look at all the social medias and especially the prophets of God and what they are saying, what they are saying, what they are saying. And I'm telling you one thing. Some prophets say, oh, this coronavirus will be the end, will, will end at 27 March. Some prophets are rebuking the virus and say, I, I sense in my, my heart right now, the virus is, is, uh, is cast into hell and, uh, and uh, it is going to stop within the next week or so. Yeah, you get those people too. But I'm telling you, the true prophets are God. It's quiet. No, quiet. God is not revealing about tomorrow. Because it's going to be something so big that's going to happen. And no man, no prophet, and no man, no apostle, apostle, no evangelist, no prophet, no teacher, no pastor is going to get any glory. Oh, I prophesy this. Look at what God's doing. Oh, no, no, no. We know something is going to happen. We know it. But we don't know what. How? Amen. Listen to me carefully today. This is God's time. And God is looking for his warriors. He's looking for his warriors. He's looking for the Gideons. He's looking for them. He's looking for the Esthers. He's looking for the Peters. He's looking for the Jameses. He's looking for the Pauls. He's looking. This is your time. Mighty warrior of God. You are a mighty warrior of the living God. Last. Chances 6.34 Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon and he blew the trumpet. <laughs> then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon. A man that was not even a couple of months ago that was down in a wine, in a cave. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon. And he blew the trumpet and 300 men chased away 150,000 Midianites. Isn't that beautiful? This is our God. Listen to me, everybody that's listening to this. Or might listen to it tomorrow or whenever. Everybody that's listening to this. Listen to me. Stop complaining. Stop murmuring. Moet nie net altyd daar in jou huis sit en jy is bekommerd en besorg en jy weet nie wat gaan gebeur nie. Sorry, this is Afrikaans. Just bear with me for a minute. Maar jy weet nie wat gaan gebeur nie. Jy voel jy, jy kan nie meer nie. Die Heere God is met jou. En die Heere God sê vir jou, staan op! Machtige man van God. Staan op. Ek is met jou. Ek sal jou nooit los en jou nooit begewe nie. But I'm always be with you. Amen. God will always be with you. Are you with me today? Are you with me today? He received God's word and now he would be transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit and be the mighty warrior he was intended to be. Let the Holy Spirit came upon you. Come on. This is my message today. I want to tell you, I want to say something to you. And I'm not boasting. Like the Apostle Paul said, if I boast, I boast in the Lord. But I'm not boasting now. I was not feeling well and I was not about to bring this message at 6 p.m. I wasn't. But I realize I need to do that. I got a phone call, one of my members in my church. And I realized that I got to do this. And with difficulty, I got up and I put on my shirt. And you can, do you like my prophetic shirt? Amen. All right, never mind. And I did this. All glory to God. Sometimes we feel we cannot. Sometimes we feel down. Sometimes, but God is with you. It's not about how you feel. It is about what God wants. It's not about your position it's what God wants it's not about how you 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 translate or interpret it no it's about what God wants and only what God wants is important 
God loves you so much. But God is looking for warriors today. Warriors. The enemy has no mercy. And when we come against the enemy, we do not have mercy either. We will cut his throat. We have hatred towards the enemy. And I'm, when I talk about the enemy, I talk about the devil and his demons. But when we stand with God, we are focused. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit be released from you. When you pray early hours of the morning and that prayer goes up, whoo, you are doing great damage to the kingdom of the enemy. Now, I tell you now, the devil hates this message. He hates this message. But praise God. God is good. Amen. The Holy Spirit say, I must stop now. And I will obey. Now listen to me. Many people are watching this broadcast. And many people will still watch it tomorrow or the day after or next week. Many people. And... Um, But there's people out there today that you've heard this message and you're wondering. You've lost so much hope. But you do not know Jesus as, as your Lord. Listen to me. Jesus is the only way. There's no other way whatsoever. It's only through Jesus that we one day can go to heaven. You see, God wants us. I, I mean, God is knocking at your door the door of your heart and he says open for me I want to come in the anointing is so strong here and I believe it's in your room too wherever you are now so I believe the Holy Spirit has prepared you already so if there's anyone that wants to say I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Master I want to accept him I want to do a prayer the Bible says if we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead. We will be saved. Romans 10 verse 9 to 10. If we confess with our mouth. That's all it is. It starts. You want to be a Christian? You want to become a child of God? You want to be part of this, this incredible thing that God has for you and for me? You want to be part of it? Pray this after me wherever you are right now. It doesn't matter if you are from another religion. It doesn't matter if you're backslidden. Maybe you're a Christian, but you've backslidden. You've been so far from God. This prayer includes you to come return. Return to the Lord. It's your time now. Pray after me. Say, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is alive. Father, forgive me all my sin. I repent now. And I'm coming to you. Help me, God. And thank you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Welcome to God's kingdom. I believe there's many of you. Welcome to God's kingdom right now. It's such a holy moment at this moment in time. Praise God. If you have any sickness, if you have any sickness right now, put your hand. If you have headache, put your hand here. If you have a pain in your shoulder, put your hand there. Wherever you have a, a sickness, put your hand there right now. Put, put your hand there. Put, put your left hand there and put your right hand up. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I bring every sickness and disease right now upon these people's life. And first of all, I rebuke it. I cast it away from them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I declare right now, Isaiah 53, 5, the last part there. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. I release that word upon them right now. And I declare, be healed, be healed. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Hallelujah. Cancer, go right now in Jesus' name. Blind eye, one eye that is uh, one person here. I, the left eye is not good. Open up that eye to open up in Jesus Christ's name. People have got severe headaches and, and, uh, and the many have got depression. I rebuke it and cast it away from them in Jesus Christ's name. You are healed by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. That name, the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Jesus is Christ. Mm. That is the most holy and powerful name ever. We bow our knee gladly, Lord, to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everybody, you are welcome in God's kingdom. I need to go now. I thank you for bearing with me. Sometimes I talk too fast. Please forgive me. Sometimes I, uh, you know, fall over my own words. Sometimes the Holy Spirit is so strongly and, and, and he talks and I got to follow and got to follow. It's not an excuse. No, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I will do it over and over. Forgive me if, me, forgive me if my English is not coming over too well uh, from time to time. But I love you. God bless you. You are special in the eyes of the Lord. Thank you. Uh, today is, um, what is today? I don't even know. Um, but in today is Monday, isn't it? No, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. <clears throat> today is Tuesday. So tomorrow, six p.m. Tomorrow, six p.m. South African, uh, uh, Malaysian time. I will be up again tomorrow, six p.m. I will be up again. Amen. Please make a note of it. It is uh, six p.m. is twelve o'clock in South Africa. 5 o'clock in Jakarta, 6 p.m. is in Bali, um, and so forth. Just uh, um, uh, 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 just be on, amen. And uh, pray for me as well. Praise God. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Watch this again. Please share this, okay? Share this. This message needs to go out. This is one message I'm telling you that needs to go out. I'm asking every one of you, share this. Share it. I don't, I'm not interested in how many people are watching and stuff. That's up to God. Amen. And if there's a hundred or ten thousand or five or ten, it doesn't matter to me. But share this because this is important to go out. Share it. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.